mother fucker. Oh, I just realized. Cause I don't use this very often. How you th how you flip your controller affects what he does with his hat. That's really neat. Bit of cultural appropriation going on there. What? Cause I'm wearing a sombrero. <laughs> yeah, Verudabak. Uh, this is the Ninja Gaiden trilogy. They ported this. This is an early iteration of games getting ported from one console to another. Uh, the Ninja Gaiden Trilogy from NES got ported to the Super Nintendo. I have seen... I've rarely seen this cartridge before. I, I, an original. Um, these fuckers are hard to come by. Recent events have initiated my panic and spin routines. Panic and spin. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi there. Initiating first greeting dialogue. There are two types of coins. Gold coins and purple coins. Uh, purple coins only work on the... Oh, okay, purple only works on the kingdom where you found them. Ah. Yeah, the original ninja guy. Oh, God. I've still never beaten that. And I think it was uh, Handy Capable Sean. He just... Uh, He fucking beat me. I think it was Ninja Gaiden with his fucking chin. He's a madman. He, he's been... He beat Super Star Wars with his chin. Dude's a mad lad. Uh, Crafty, are you still there? Where's Crafty at? Did you win? Did you get your copy? The absolute clackers on that guy. Greetings, traveler, into your hat as well. You had some riddle. What does the monster want from this kingdom? F flowers? You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. Ow. Oh, Crafty, did you get your copy from Genghis? Okay. Cool. Congratulations again, man. I uh, hope you enjoy the game. This one's really good. If you've never played. What's this? Ratchet and Clank? I hope we get another Ratchet and Clank on PS5. Did anyone here uh, play the, the new one on PS5? That shit was banging. It was just too short. There just, there just wasn't enough of it. Oh, I know this song. And yeah, Rift Apart was so good. What an absolutely gorgeous game. What a what a beautiful game. Where where else have I heard this song? I was gonna say it, I think I've heard this in a ROM hack too. Yeah. It's a great tune. It's been used lots play. I know I've heard this before. Like I haven't played this game in five years, and I know this song. Ah! Fucking poison. Bullshit ass poison. Suck it. Fuck. I don't know. You guys sure the game is loud enough, yeah? Oh my god. Turn up specifically for this level. Uh, okay, I'm playing with new software. Let me see if I can actually adjust this. 
Um, I, I know n nothing about this. I don't even know if I can with this. Preferences. Uh, general. Uh, I don't know if I actually can with this one. Just do it! I don't know how. Okay, well, I'll check it out another time. <laughs> All right, back to it. Oh! Oh, beat a stretch. What? Oh god. Well, that ain't right. <laughs> oh god, I'm in the wrong buttons! Ah! Hey, Tequits? Yeah, bag of flaming hot Fritos. Wasn't there a didn't a rapper there was some rapper out there. Didn't he go to the hospital for eating those? The are the flaming hot Cheetos or some shit. Oh my. Yeah, wasn't there a rapper that was hospitalized a while? Oh, yeah. I thought it was I thought it was flaming hot Cheetos. I don't know. I Little Zan. <laughs> he ate like a whole bag or something. <laughs> Ended up going to the hospital. Like, that's not funny. I'm sorry. Like that sucks. I hope he. I, I, I hope he's okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess he ate too many or some shit. What's this? Go oh, out. I played the Shantae games. Uh, I've only played one. It was all right. I wasn't the, the biggest fan, but it wasn't a bad game or anything. Oh, God. DJ Khaled backing out of Hot Ones. I need to watch more Hot Ones. Me and the lady uh, just discovered that show. I, I've known about it since it was early on YouTube. I didn't realize it got made into a full series. That shit's really good. He was eating basically nothing else. Well, then that's his own goddamn fault. That's like that's like trying to eat ramen noodles for a week straight, and and then wondering why you have explosive diarrhea. Yeah, I, that's what I've heard. I've definitely never. I definitely did not do that when I was a broke college kid. Tired of watching me do it the difficult way. Listen, man. I'm trying to play. I'm trying to play life on hard mode. Okay. How do you? Can I move this thing? I mean, like, it's not doing anything. Is there a way to do something here? There's gotta be a. There's gotta be a thing. Supposed to do audio software. Um. There's gotta be a way, right? You can move this, can't you? I'm blocked in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk out the side. Can't do that. What was I in college for? Pfft, business admin, because I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna do. I'm a college dropout. I was, uh, I was in college. I, I was in school. I, I graduated. Uh, after I graduated, uh, very shortly after I, I moved out. Um. You know, got got an apartment with a couple of my best buds. Got some really good times. Um, and I went into school 
Shit, I keep hitting the wrong button here. I didn't know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, so I went to school as business admin. I was really good at accounting for some reason, by the way. I don't know why I took accounting. In my, in my senior year of high school, I'd already gotten all the credits and stuff that I needed to graduate with, except for, I think, Algebra 2. I fucking hate math, but I was really good at accounting. It was the weirdest thing. But yeah, that uh, I dropped out whenever I got that job traveling. I mean, what? I think I was 19 maybe 20 at the time and I got offered a job traveling it's like do you want to make money and there's a whole story involved with that I don't want to bore I don't want to bore you guys with that again but uh yeah there's a whole story as to how, how I got that job and yeah what 19 year old doesn't want to travel so for the next you know five and a half years I traveled all up and down the east coast Hey, Zelda90, have yourself a good night. Thanks for hanging with us. So I dropped out of college, never went, you know, the longer you take, the longer you uh, wait, the harder it is to go back. What's the travel job? I worked for uh, Wiss International. I was uh, part of an inventory crew. Uh, we were based out of Pittsburgh is where our crew was, that's where our crew was based out of. Uh, but all of our, uh, our entire uh, team, which I think, our team, we were the top inventory uh, crew running for like two or three years nationally uh, for like three years, but there were only 32 of us. Everybody was out of Ohio and West Virginia. Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! Yeah, I got to travel all, all over, man. It was fun. <laughs> Double degree, no shit, Samantha. <laughs> You live in Pittsburgh? Woo woo. Yeah, my brother's up there. I Pittsburgh's right right up right up the road from us. We go there for shows occasionally. Well, I could go this way. I don't think I want to go that way yet. You work for a company that works with Wiss International, yeah, uh, yeah. So I worked, uh, I worked for an inventory company for like five and a five and a half years. After that, I, uh, you know, I, I was with a lady. We bought a house, settled down, got a desk job for a while. That's when I got into IT. <laughs> Does this text make me look fat? Yeah, I loved working for Wiss. That was a good time. That's when I used to work on a ladder all the time. I told you guys earlier, I drank a uh, an energy drink one day and. It had it, it was a Steven Seagal's energy drink. I got it for like a buck at whatever Walmart we were inventorying. We didn't work. We weren't employed by Walmart, uh, but companies like that have to have uh, a third party like Wiss or Regis do their inventory. And all my years for uh, with uh, working for that company, we we did we did. Last I knew, the guy I, I think he went to prison. There there was a, a, a GM or an AM that got busted for embezzling. And I won't forget that day either because I had to work a bunch of extra hours. We went in and we did an inventory on like a, I, I would say it was like a $6.4 million Walmart or something like that. We banged it out in about six hours, 30 of us, 32 of us. We inventoried the whole fucking place. We were good. We were good at what we did and accurate too. But uh, we uh, we did all the we did all this. I was uh, I ran I managed the uh, tire lube and express team. Um, I managed oh shit. I managed tire lube and express. Uh, I knocked that out. I used to do the risers at Walmart back whenever they had uh, back whenever they had um, uh, high shelf stock. Uh, they don't do it anymore for I think for safety reasons. People were like being dumb and getting hurt uh but anyways yeah we did this uh we did this inventory <laughs> and uh at the end of the inventory my they, there was always numbers and stuff that had to be crunched in the back and usually the higher ups you know we were accurate we were good there was rarely any discrepancies 
this one particular day, we, it was somewhere in Pennsylvania, somewhere in PA, we finished up this job and I was already promoted. I was running, I was running a couple of different uh, crews of people and at the end of the day, you know, if the boss, the boss man, the big man ever needed anything, I would always hang back and help him out. Sometimes we had to recount certain sections to make sure everything was accurate. Oh, I need to take that guy all the way up, I see. But yeah, my boss comes back, he goes, hey man, uh, you mind staying a little bit longer? Well, sure. Your steadfast loyalty is I rolled up. I rolled up in that Walmart at like 4 a.m. We didn't get out till 8 p.m. Hey, what up, Aid Carm? Thanks for the 17 months. So we come back, and uh, or I come back, and I I was there from 4 a.m. to like 8 p.m. that God night. It, I barely had time to get to the back to the hotel room and sleep before we had to get up the next morning and travel two hours to the next destination. And uh, so yeah, we went back and we checked we checked all these discrepancies because we were coming up like hundreds of thousands of dollars shy. I mean, it was the, the, the businesses are allotted like you know loss prevention stuff like that. They're allotted X amount where you know it can be a, it can be a little bit off. This bitch was coming up hundreds of thousands of dollars off, so I had to go back and redo a bunch of the electronic sections. And, I mean, check some of the, the main areas where a lot of times things get... A lot, if things go wrong, this is typically where they happen. Yeah, it ended up some uh, some area manager or general manager was fucking embezzling. And it got... Pretty sure it got busted for a few hundred thousand. <laughs> I was mad because I had to stay... I was there from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's fucking stupid. We went back like, we did our jobs correctly. Some asshole was stealing from Walmart. I mean, fuck Walmart, but, <laughs> but you know, what was the least favorite item to count? Uh, least favorite items to count were either uh, like the Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid section. I mean, if they're full boxes, fine. Uh, clothing had to be done individually by single tags. Uh, those were our soft line guys and gals. We had a team that specifically did clothing all day. Um, but I would say, uh, I would say like the Kool-Aid section. <laughs> the Kool-Aid section or clothing in general. <laughs> Those were fucked up, man. Those sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Too late, chumps. We snagged the soiree by bouquet already. And why, don't, and why don't you scram so we can uh, grab the rest of these flowers as well? Or maybe I'll just make you scram. Ho, ho, ho. What's up, Sarah? Sorry if I missed a lot of chat. I was just telling a story. Oh, God. Ow! Uh, thousands of money missing. Well, we weren't sure about the inventory itself. We counted everything correctly, but yeah, no, there there were thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars missing in the in, in the projected inventory. Let's say it's an eight million dollar Walmart. It's 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 projected value is they have eight million dollars worth of merchandise that have been. Uh, brought in and, and based on their numbers, they, they should have $8 million. Um, I, I don't know the exact number, but if we did an inventory there, you know, they could be $30,000 shy of $8 million or $50,000. I don't know what the, the actual numbers were. Um, and as long as you met within those guidelines, let's say we did an 8 million, like we got the numbers, they'd be like, hey, what's, you know, I'd say, hey boss, what's today's size? He's like 7.6, 7.6 million, or oh, this is a, this is a smaller one, 6.3. Um, if they came back, if it was an $8 million Walmart and it came back, we, we counted 7.9 million and some change, that might be within the legal require, uh, the legal boundaries of what they can be shy. Otherwise, Something's wrong, and that's where loss prevention comes in, and that's where, well, in this case, you know, we got to look at embezzling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like this one Walmart, though. It was the only time in in all my years where it, 
two months chip squared, which is two days six power, which is two thousand one hundred one. Something like that. Which is, I just got here. Are you a cop? No, no, no. I, I worked for inventory for a long time. I worked for an inventory company for a long time. It's all right. With 65 months, man. Oh, God. Which is two months cubed squared, which is two to the sixth power, which is 2101 in base three, which is... Where was that? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> My cop? Fuck no. I just watched a video on a, a, a mathematics like conundrum, something that that hasn't been solved yet or something like that. Uh, where, and I'm really bad at math, but uh, the gist of it was you take any number and if it's even, you add three. Or if it's even, you multiply by two and then if it's odd you divide by three or something like this and it was just this never-ending fucking math problem that hasn't been solved yet I don't know I just saw a random video the other day I don't even I'm bad at math but I, you know, I'm still fascinated I was like oh what's this <laughs> what was that what was it called there was a name for it yeah it ends in a loop <laughs> it always does and that's why I think uh, universities have published papers on things like yeah. 2 plus 2 might equal 5. I shit you not on this. I shit you not on this. There are published articles like out of Harvard and out of Brown, like all of these places. Ivy League schools are uh, published articles about, uh, well, there's also people claiming that math is racist. That one I still don't understand. But um, there, there's a lot of talk about, you know, how mathematics are still in their infancy. And two plus two might equal five. It's it's fucking crazy. I, I know it might sound weird, math philosophy, right? It, it it sounds weird, but when you get down to the nitty gritty, you know, I can kind of see where it is. As not a mathematician, as somebody who is horrible at math, I can kind of understand the want to understand this. I mean, in in our society, right? Everything can be like everything is welcome back. Run by Your uh, mathematics, right? Is the world is doomed. <laughs> in flames. Thanks for forty-two months. Nah, fuck math. Yeah, okay. Fuck math. Uh, fuck engineering, right? Back. Your steadfast loyalty <laughs> is greatly appreciated. Dante, thanks for the fifteen months, man. Great. Odyssey. These papers aren't from mathematics departments frequently. Uh, they're often from philosophy departments, from philosophers of mathematics. Okay. So maybe uh, the, 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 the math philosophers aren't seeing things as black and white as, let's say, a mathematician, right? What is this? You have returned. 49? I'm horrible at math. <laughs> Domeds. What's up, man? Thanks for the 50 months. Hey, uh, you and the lady have been, you guys, uh, did you finish your scuba, your scuba diving instructors classes and stuff? I know you guys were doing that for a while. Thanks for the continued sub love. I was just thinking about you the other day and how I need to come and see you so you can drain some blood. Think of the ancient Greeks that came up with the theory we still use today. Nerds without computers, <laughs> right? What does that mean? Okay, I see. Okay, maybe smash the ground when I see tumbleweed. I don't know. Streamer blood. Ah, uh, she's doing scuba. Oh, I'm not a water person. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that she. I saw your uh, your wife was doing some scuba diving stuff. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Take all the blood. I need to come see you guys. Uh, Cyber dust. Thanks for the eight returns. months. Uh, home. So, Domance, me and my lady, me and my girlfriend, we uh, uh, we decided to do a hydration date, and we decided to check out this whole like the the IV bar thing where they put you on a saline drip with. I, there's various concoctions. I, I, I'm, I'm guessing you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know that I really got anything out of it, but uh, 
Anyways, yeah, when when I, I have very big veins, uh, they've always loved me. At, at any time I've donated blood, or back when I worked for worked in IT, even they'd always have uh, blood drives throughout the year. The the ladies, guys and gals at the the blood drive, they love my veins. Well, when she hit me with the IV the other day, oh yeah, <laughs> she jokingly oh, said. Back. I, there, I bled like she got it in there and it was like blood started pouring out. She goes, yeah, I could have thrown a needle at your arm from halfway across the room and still hit your vein. <laughs> hey, Dindum, thanks for the nine months, man. Yeah, I immediately was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Such big veins you have. Yeah, <laughs> I love donating blood and stuff. So vascular. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My poor lady's got a bruise on her arm. <laughs> Vampires, lo <laughs> Vampires love him. <laughs> Makes my job easy, right? Yeah, I've always lo I always love donating blood because I usually, whenever I'd go to donate blood, usually they put the welcome back the the press Your on your arm. I used to I used to just walk into the I used to walk in before they when they go to get the uh, the little arm compression thing. I just pump my hand a few times, <laughs> and I come back like, "Do you need that?" And they go. No. <laughs> we can see that bitch clearly. <laughs> Glad I can make your job easier. I saw uh, when we were donating plasma years ago. This is back when I was like 18 and in college. We, I used to donate plasma uh, so I could buy a bag of weed. And uh, I remember they... I don't know if they missed my, my buddy's... I don't know if they missed my buddy's vein or what happened, but his arm like bubbled up. It it bubbled up. He was terrified. <laughs> it, it got pretty gnarly. He he was worried. He was very worried. All right. Okay. So. Okay, you are obviously for something. You know, goes in, you hardly feel it. I've had a few. I've had a few nurses over the years that you know didn't. I I ra I've rarely had any issue, but yeah, I've had a few of them that are not very gentle. Just made your needle phobia worse. <laughs> He was so fucking scared. He, we're sitting in it. We're like, we're crossing each other at tables. He goes, dude, I don't know what to do. Dude, I don't know what to do. <laughs> His arm was just getting fucking huge. I'm like, I don't know what to do, man. Call the nurse. <laughs> How often do I donate? I haven't donated in a long time, man. And that's a damn shame. I don't have universal blood or anything. Actually, hang on. I've got my donor card here. What am I? I am. Here's my American Red Cross card. Welcome I am back. a positive. Your steadfast loyalty. I am is a positive. Appreciated. Oh, bishy, thanks for the eight months. Dude. Every time you have blood drawn, you pass out. Really? Okay. I don't know what. Okay. I don't know what his purpose is yet. We need a combination blood stool and hair sample. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's for uh, that's for my OnlyFans. What an odd stone. You're there the last time I donated. Yeah, I think the last time I donated blood domains was with you. It's been years, man. I mean, no thanks to COVID and whatnot. Um, seems like that needs water. Are you allowed to donate blood if you smoke cigarettes and or marijuana? Um, I don't think there's any uh, restrictions on. Uh, definitely not cigarettes. I don't. I don't think uh, cannabis has uh, any bearing whatsoever on donating blood. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm not a. I'm not. I'm not a nurse. Dude, this is so fuck. This game is so fucking cool. All right. Get some bitch. Now, I mean, if you're doing some, if you, I assume like there's probably some restrictions if you're doing heroin and stuff. 
I know uh, countries you travel in. Try to remember all the questions they ask every time you go to donate blood. If you've had any tattoos uh, within the last six months. If you've traveled to, I don't know, Papua New Guinea or something. Uh, pull a lever and receive a seed. Oh. oh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. The feeling of blood, blood going back in. Oh, when you donate plasma, yeah, where it cycles your blood back in. <laughs> you know what I? The the thing I hated the most about donating plasma was when they hit you with the cold saline. And they already had the air conditioning turned way the fuck up in those uh, plasmas, uh, plasma areas. And I'm, I typically run hot, but man, that fucking, that fucking cold saline, dude, <laughs> drove me nuts. Like, I'm, I'm freezing! <laughs> Haven't I suffered enough? I forgot how good this game is. I forgot how good Mario Odyssey is. Okay, well, I'm back up here. So we, there, there's two different paths. So that's, so that's just basically a shortcut, huh? That's just basically a shortcut. No, uh, while he hops, the saline wasn't cold. I, I no, um, no. When we did the IV thing the other day, no, it wasn't anything like that. I mean, I, I, no, I didn't. It wasn't cold, wasn't hot. I was just kind of there. It kind of existed. And I browsed Twitter for about 40 minutes. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to go uh, grab a fresh beer. Anyone want one? What time is it? It's almost 6.30. Uh, yeah, we got time for more Mario. And don't forget, we do have a uh, spoopy game coming up here in a little bit. But yeah. Sherb, you need a, you need a fresh breath? Top off your scotch? Uh, I don't have any scotch. Probably do tequila. All right. I will be back in just a moment, folks. Don't go too far. I have a... Uh, okay. I wonder. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at them scales, boys! Oh. Yeah, Derlin's really good at what he does. Yeah, Derlin is, is quite good. Uh... Oh god, you can aim with... Okay. And... Quite there. Shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rod? What's going on, baby? How you doing? What's up, Rachel? What up, Ryan? Good to see you guys. Thanks for the raid. How was, uh, you guys are playing Elden Ring today, man. Virobot, thank you for 10 uh, months, man. Metal Gear Slowpoke, thank you for the follow. Uh, Bishy, did I ever say thank you for eight months and Brave Flocks with 30 months of sub love? Dined him with the nine months. Oh my god. Thank you guys very much. How was, uh, how was Elden Ring today? God, the TTS, I know. <laughs> Got the fire giant. Oh, nice. Fire giant's cool. Uh, welcome on in. If you're coming in from Ron Show, if I've not met you before, I'm Smoke Logan. It's great to have you. Uh, we've been doing a bit of a mini Mario marathon. Today we finished up 100% 100 uh, Mario Galaxy. And uh, we're playing Mario Odyssey now, which I haven't played since it first came out. I forgot how damn cool this game is. He's squishing the shit out of you. Yeah, Fire Giant's a bit fucky. 
Fire Titan's a really cool fight, but yeah, he's a bit... He's a bit fucking. Not gonna lie. Fire Giant took me... Like a, I don't know what level you are. He took, me, he took me a solid hour or so to beat. Yeah. Welcome back. Uh, Rod, thank you for the gifted sub earlier, by the way, man. Appreciate that. At 110 a day. Oh, you should be more than equipped to take him out. You got it. How did I not hit you? And fuck you! Oh, I hit his fireball. That's what happened. Okay. Um. By the way, if you're tuning in, uh, yeah, we got uh, back seating is totally fine. I don't mind if you help me at all. I haven't played this game in five years, so learning his patterns. Yeah, he's got some. Uh, he's got some pretty big hit boxes on his attacks. I don't know, uh, I haven't, I, I've only played through Elden Ring once, and I don't know if, uh, they've nerfed him or done anything differently with him. I know Radon, I heard they, uh, people are pissed, because Radon got nerfed. First level of Hyperion, okay. Hey, cheers. Rod, thanks for coming in. Appreciate ya. Oh God. Is this world of tanks? Where's Jimmy? Ow. Where's Jimmy at? I need him to take the controller from me. Uh, his attacks hit a wider area than they were supposed to and they adjusted the hitboxes. I know people are pissed about it, but I mean, I, I, I wholeheartedly trust Miyazaki and the dev teams, you know, to fix it if... I, I, the, I didn't personally think he needed nerf. I, I understand splash... I mean, I, I, I get splash damage and stuff, but I also understand when attack shouldn't have splash damage. But that motherfucker was huge! Gamers pissed about something? I know, right, Gregarious? But uh, yeah, we got a we got a handful of Mario left here today, guys. Uh, and here shortly, we're gonna be checking out a, a supposedly a spoopy game. I've been on this weird, I've been on this uh, this horror game kick for uh, for the last couple of weeks or so. I've been playing a lot of spoopy games, and tonight we're gonna check out Martha is Dead. It's got good reviews, so love your vibe, man. Akuma introduced me, and I never regret it. Eldridge, what's up, man? Thanks, dude. That's right, you just gotta, yeah, you gotta, you gotta scream fuck you Miyazaki at the top of your lungs and the boss instantly caves. The boss instantly says, no, I don't, I don't want none of this. Oh lord. I haven't played this game in so long. Number one, I forgot how fucking cool this game is. Number two, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's some baby! Whoa! You use summons? Listen, I'm not get I'm not gonna go down that fucking rabbit hole of a conversation again. I spoke my piece about that. If you judge others for the way that they play a game using mechanics built in a game that is deliberately meant to piss you off and be hard, well then you're just an asshole. <laughs> Don't gatekeep. That's all I'll say on that. I I did hear they uh, they nerfed the mimic, right? Didn't they cut the damage on the mimic down a bit? I don't rely on summons. I use Scarlet Rot. No, no, Trace, you're playing it wrong. You're using Scarlet Rot. You're using a dot. You're fucking cheating, dude. In your your victory is invalidated. <laughs> I had people, uh, I straight up, I got mad at a long time viewer. I, I hated to do it, but I got, I got straight up pissed at 
somebody. I'm, I banned him for two. I timed him out for two days. They were just... And, and I hated to do that. And, you know, bygones are bygones. I'm not angry about it. You know, they're not living rent-free in my... They're, they're, they're not living rent-free in my head. I hated that it came to that. So I went on this, like, 10-minute fucking tirade. Oh, dude. <laughs> your run, your run's invalidated. Your face is invalidated. You play your game with a Nintendo mechanic? Fucking cheater. Hey, Ford, thanks for the uh, 100 bits, man. Elden Ring is mean to me, so I'm mean to it. Exactly, Shan. Exactly. Okay, can you not do that? Hang on, I want to test something. I'm still relearning how the... Uh... Alright, maybe not. Still relearning re these controls after five... I can't believe this game is five years old, by the way. Oh, God. Okay, don't I, like, jump on this one's head or something? Uh, that ain't right. Um... What's your fucking deal? I bet you shouts in Skyrim, too. I would never fuss row. I would never fuss row your da. I'm better at, at enjoying the game than you. Hey, I I think it's crazy. I, I know people. It, it only takes one person to to piss you off, right? Um, bad word of mouth travels faster than good word of mouth, uh, and that applies in real life situations as well. Like, oh my god, I had a bad experience at your restaurant. I'm telling all my friends, and I'm going on Facebook, and I'll put you on blast, and this and that and the other. Um, for me, I've always I've always seen a lot of... Since I started playing Dark Souls back in 2014, Dark Souls community has always been super welcoming. I mean, the occasional asshole here and there, like, ah, dude, you fucking suck at this. Um, you know, back when I was getting started and, and shit like that. Uh, but man, you know, since Dark Souls, well, since Souls likes have gained a lot more popularity, either uh, people are just getting bent out of shape and chasing cloud or something. I don't know, but there's apparently a lot more toxicity uh, surrounding the Souls community than I uh, I ever realized. It's also why I love the Kaizo community. Uh, there is. Only a couple of folks that I don't really care for. <laughs> they probably don't care for me. The, Kai, the Mario, the Kaizo Mario community is one of the most welcoming communities I've ever seen on Twitch. They're just nice fucking people. Between, uh, between, uh, hack creators and players. Man, everybody is just so fucking nice. What is this? I don't know what I'm doing here. There's like the back. When I started playing Kaizo, loyalty is greatly everybody was like, yo, welcome to Kaizo. It's really cool to see you learn. Let's go. <laughs> right in Kaizo, you have to get good. <laughs> uh, BA, yo, what's up, BA? Thanks for the eight months. Nobody wants to play Hyper 6. Wait, do I go underneath of you, maybe? Ah, there it is. Okay, I don't know what I was doing. Barb does not. Yeah, Bar Barb gives. He he gives so many fucks about your bread. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Kaizo is the real Dark Souls. <laughs> Do not mess with me, biped. Wow. Ow, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, don't touch him when he's red. Oh, okay, do I need to destroy this bullshit underneath or something? Ah, sorry guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't remember shit. I have vague recollections of these areas. Oh god. What up? 
<laughs> you lost all your bread on uh, golf bets. Nice. Can I cheese this? See, I feel like right here I could... Uh... But right here, I feel like I'm supposed to go over top of him. I wonder if you can cheese that right there. I have no memory of this place. Oh, come on! What the fuck? Oh, now he's moving! Sure you can! Oh god, there's more! I mean, I can try it. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't know. Use you? Oh my god. You're a dick. Oh lord. What? Oh my god. Yeah! Let's slap that dick! Wow! Inquisition video on Get Goodery. <laughs> oh no. Uh, 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 Yosh. <laughs> the watermelon wins. I think he looks more like a. Uh, you sure that's a watermelon? It looks a little bit more like a honeydew melon. Just saying. Just, just throwing it out there. And cantaloupe is better than honeydew. I had to buy tickets to the gun show. New Age, the, these guns right here. <laughs> yeah, they're all cantaloupes. Just fighting words? You like the honeydew more than cantaloupe? I mean, if you're eating fresh fruit, you just can't go wrong, man. You just can't go wrong. Watermelon is the best melon. Have you guys seen... I want to say it's... I want to say it's in Japan. Have you guys seen the the square watermelons? I they've been around for a long time. Have you guys seen that? I would I would love to, to drill into a square watermelon and fill that bitch with a whole bunch of booze. Grow them in a box and they just yeah facade. You mean the ones in sunshine? <laughs> no. Watermelon is technically a berry. Yeah, we, we got into a conversation about this the other day, right? Tomatoes are a fruit. Uh, was it blackberries aren't actually a berry? Is that what it is? You used to love cantaloupe, now you're a honeydew guy. Taste change. You bought an actual D20, am I down for a roll? Well, Diablo, because it's you and uh, I like your streams. Yeah. Roll it. What are you drinking? What are you rolling? You gotta beat a seven. Dino melon? What's a dino melon, honey? Illustrious champion returns. Vorberg, Welcome thanks for 40 home. months. You know what? Another one. Our illustrious champion returns. Erisic, thank you for Welcome 14. Home. Cheers, guys. High smoke smile. So, okay, so uh, when are we going to reverse this shit? Like, it's her flatulate. Your wife has the best melons, actually. Well played. So Pluto is, is a planet. Pluto isn't a planet. Now Pluto is a planet again. Watermelon is technically a berry. It's not a melon. Like, come on now. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Diablo. Nice 10.
Bud Light Sour Watermelon Seltzer. Oh, you're drinking that flavored TV static. Okay. Can I give you a spoiler for my horror game? No, don't spoil it for me. I do have a question. I do have a question, though. A legitimate question about uh, Martha is dead. Let's add another swig in there. Good lord, degenerate! Thank you for 27 months of sub and Virobot. Look it up, Gregar Gregarious Fister. Mm. Mm. Dynamelon is from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Somewhat like honeydew. Mm -hmm. I want to try that. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have a question, um, and, and this is actually for, for from a streaming standpoint. Uh, has anyone played Martha is Dead with the English voiceovers? I, I always get a little nervous, especially with an indie title like this. Uh, it's in Italian, right? Do we know whether or not the... Uh, the English voiceovers are decent, or do we want to leave this in its original VA? It's passable. See, the the reason I ask, uh, the reason I ask, guys, is uh, I know you know we have people watching on mobile. Some people, you know, I'm background noise. Um, I, I I want to try to be considerate. Uh, I, I do want to play it in its original VA, okay. um, I, but I'm also okay with playing it in English VA so that people can listen rather than read. Subtitles can kind of suck sometimes. Although uh, me and my girl, we watch uh, <laughs> we watch everything in our household. Everything in our household, we watch uh, in our in our home. Anytime we watch a movie or a TV show, we always have subtitles on. She and I joked. Uh, we went and saw Batman. Batman. I mean, we went and saw Batman on Sunday, and I, I asked her if she'd ever heard of a movie theater that does subtitles. Is that a thing? If it's not a thing, it needs to be a fucking thing. Unless you need to rent out the theater. I hear it's like a hundred bucks to rent out a theater. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Your steadfast Subtitles help while eating crunchy chips. See, Rockopotamus, you get it. Oh, no, not again. The Batman. Sub have doubt. What would deaf people do? See... Daver, that's a, actually, see, that's a great, uh, that's a great question. I wonder if they do closed captioning showings. I would really fucking hope so, especially for, for deaf, for deaf uh, people. Absolutely. Yeah, around here, I believe you can rent out one of our theater rooms for like $100. And then any, you know, if you want to invite your friends and then I think they all pay, you know, for the movie tickets. I think you can rent one out for like a hundred bucks for a showing, which is pretty dope. <laughs> Ragged Fire, you, you're not wrong. Ragged Fire, whoa. Where's your sub at? Where's Jamar? Um, unless Twitch is screwed up again. Chunky Wookie, thank you for 23 months. Virobot with yet another gifted sub. Hook it up, uh, Rachel as well. Cheers. Did I like the Batman movie? I did. Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a long one. It's a long one. It's fucking three hours. <laughs> Link, stop texting me, goddammit. it! It's, um, it's a good one. Acerin, thanks for the gifted sub to Ragon Fryer. Oh, Jamar's gonna be a piss. Went to an opera with English subtitles displayed on the edge of the stage. Really? Well, that's neat. I didn't know that was a thing. This is an educational stream. Uh, yeah, the new Batman was good. Uh, I, I, I did enjoy it. And I know that uh, much like Ben Affleck, uh, I knew Robert Pattinson was going to get uh, shit because, you know, he played a sparkly vampire once. Um, funny enough, Crim Skills the other night, you know, he hit me with that narrow-minded fucking bullshit. I said, hey, we invited him to go see the Batman with us. And he said, no, you enjoy your uh, sparkly vampires, kids. But we actually, uh, we were hanging out after Bowling League on Monday. 
And I said, really, that's your justification for not going to see it is because he played a character in a movie? Well, you're dumb. And I recommend he sees it. I will say this. Good movie. Really enjoyed this new iteration of Batman. Uh, it was different. It was a different take, as everyone as every one of them is. Better than Clooney. Dark Knight is still superior. Look up. Dark Knight is still superior. Yeah. Lighthouse. Uh yeah, with uh yeah, I still want to see Lighthouse. That's him and uh Willem Dafoe, right? You didn't like the Riddler? I enjoyed this Riddler. I, I know it's no Jim Carrey. Look at the birds. What about him? Oh, do they have a fucking moon or something? Do I need to kill the birds? Christian Bale, man. Like, also, didn't... Who directed this Batman, by the way? Was it Sam? This wasn't Sam Raimi, was it? No, Batman is better than Michael Keaton. <laughs> who, wait, who directed? No, um, I'm sorry. No, I, I was talking about movies the other night, and Raimi directed... Did he direct a Spider-Man? Adam West. <laughs> Keaton forever. <laughs> what, what about the birds? What am I doing? What about them? Oh, do they have a do they have a moon or something? I'm looking at the birds. I need to kill them all. Raimi did the McGuire Spider Man, so okay. I, I like Sam Raimi as a director. Uh, you know, been a, been a fan since you know Evil Dead. He's kind of a an early yet still better M Night Shyamalan. I don't know. I like I like Sam Raimi. Uh, Don Ray. Uh, Don. Gray. I called you Dong Ray. I'm sorry. Don Gray. I'm sorry, man. Thank you, brother. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. I'm sorry, man. I, I apologize. <laughs> I read that on a whim, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's on your mind. Well, y'all got me out here, you know, thirsting for Batman. We get to Lake Kingdom now. Oh boy. Um. All right, guess we're in the Lake Kingdom. M Night Shyamalan and Ding Dong. Did anyone here suffer through uh, M Night Shyamalan's last movie? I, I don't know what his budget was or what was going on right there, but man, that last movie of his was awful. It was awful. Cool concept. Terrible casting. I'm sorry. I don't mean to talk shit, but man, it's, it's rough. The script, if they were following that script to a T, it was poorly written. Poorly written. Which was his last one? Old. The one where people are on a beach. If you want to, I don't know, get drunk and laugh at a movie with your friends or get high and laugh at a movie because of how bad it is. Sure. <laughs> Thanks for getting up. Don Gray. Oof. That movie was... That was a rough watch. I... I, I really... I, I really tried to give it the benefit of the doubt. But, I mean, it, it was just all over the place. It was all over the place. The acting was subpar. The script was subpar. The idea behind it... And I won't, you know, spoil anything. If you want to watch it for yourself... The idea behind it, 
It's very M. Night Shyamalan. But just as a whole, that movie was atrocious. Worse than Lady in the Water? Yeah, worse than Lady in the Water. Yeah. And that's saying something. And that's saying something, Michael. Yeah, it's bad. I enjoyed Lady in the Water more than his last film. Oh, God. I need another beer. I'm, I don't want to think about the movie. Let's let's change subjects. Blind people dream of darkness with sound. Is that, is that like documented or whatnot? Some people did and do dream in black and white. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm just like a genuine question. Hey, hey what's up, Nebra? How time fly by in this stream? How are we sunky in the stack? Smile. I'm doing all right, my friend. How are you? Thanks for 30 months. Watch the nightmare if you want to laugh about sleep paralysis. Hilariously be moving. I did watch a movie. A, it's been a few months back. It was on Amazon. I, I was able to rent it for like two bucks. I did watch a movie about... It wasn't about sleep paralysis, but it was about dreams and so on and so forth. I think it left a bit for interpretation. What was that fucking called? It was actually decent. This. My goodness, the monster's minions just tumped in here uninvited. We stole our kingdom's finest lock lady dress. It's a tragedy. Lots of blind people are not in complete darkness. <clears throat> Lots of blind people are not in complete darkness, so they can see, if you will, uh, like different shades depending on light, maybe. I, I know nothing. I know nothing uh, about blindness. I know nothing about blindness. I watched a, uh, I, I, I got to, to see a, I got to watch a blind comedian one time. That was really cool. Dude was funny as fuck. Yeah, he played at a place. It was a, it was a little a local, uh, a local restaurant slash bar. Uh, now half the building isn't going to use, and there's a gambling joint there. Um, but yeah, I watched a, a blind comedian one time. Dude was so fucking funny. I was reeling during that show. I, I mean, just uh, it, with laughter. Oh my god, he was fucking funny. Oh, can you not do sidewall skips? Nope. Okay. It's left and right. Gotcha. Most blind people have sight vision. They can see different levels. We really kind of like walk down the street without help. Just can't drive. We're called legally blind. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm talking about just pure blindness. You know, I, I wonder what... <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking these questions right now. So then another stream I watched that is legally blind. All right, wow, legally blind. Yeah, sure, sure, legally blind. I I'm talking blind. Born without sight. I'd be curious. I'm sure there's some interviews out there. Now, now that my curiosity has peaked, I'm sure there's uh, probably some interviews out there. These questions have more than likely been asked before. this might have fucked up again. Okay. Random weird question. Being blind would mean it's impossible to be a gamer? 
Not necessarily, Seraph. Not necessarily, no. Um, and I, I can't speak for blind gamers. Uh, I, I actually uh, know a couple of deaf streamers, not blind gamers, but uh, no, there are uh, some games out there that have accessibility options that do allow uh, blind folks to play video games. It's pretty wild. Pretty fucking wild. This guy who beat SM64. See, there's no accessibility on that, but he fucking did it. Really, cat? I'm s okay. I'll put it on the cigarette. Hey, you ain't supposed to be in here. There's a we got a cat burglar. You doing? What you doing? I'm tracking on you, Dad. Come here. You gotta, you gotta come say hi. She's sniffing the the new the the new new stuff. You gotta make an appearance. You doing? Oh, well, there's a box. Yes. Do you want the box? You doing? Hang on. You doing? <laughs> New smells. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be in here. Yeah, I know, Dad. Put me down. Okay. <laughs> no, that's no. Get off the bag. No. You have you returned. Closing in on two years. Immediately starts chewing a fucking plastic bag. Hey, Quiet Slam. Thanks for 22 months. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. We're just kind of bullshitting. Uh, it's been a lot of Mario. A lot of Mario today. I've been gone for the last three days. I'm still uh, adjusting. I haven't played uh, played any video games. I haven't streamed in three days. I never take that time off. Jimmy, where were you earlier? Asshole. Major asshole. Jesus, Jimmy. We were playing. There was we we had a tank. It was like World of Tanks, man. I didn't know where you were, and I panicked. Working? Psh, likely excuse. Likely excuse. Good to see you, bud. Uh, they bring the plaza downstairs in the water. Where do you want me to go? I'm waiting for the sun to go down so we can play this new horror game. I don't like playing spooky games in, uh, when it's daylight out. Did I miss roll call? Not yet, Rockabye, right? But here you are. What did I get more? Oh, yeah, it was just giant bags full of drugs. And I got some really, uh, really cool gifts, man. Some really cool gifts. Yeah. A rock of Byra is never late. <laughs> All right, Gandalf. Where am I going? Up there? Look for the water plaza. The way is right in front of me. Okay. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Can I like drain the water or something? Twenty three years. <laughs> it's Kazumune. Thanks for the uh, three fucking years, man. Thanks, man. Okay. I have a horror recommendation. It's called the convenience store. <laughs> Is that anything like that game called uh, uh, Real Life? Yeah, I think it was made by the same developer. Yes. Man. I need to go like up and over. Like, what do, you, what do you want me to do here? I don't know if that's the intended route. I don't know. I don't know if that's right. Ow!
I, I don't think that's what I was supposed to do. Our illustrious champion. I think I'm gonna need these guys, by the way. Welcome home. For something. I think I need them Even to get books. those over there. Ah! This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. What up, Spud boy? Thanks for 16 months, man. You like my sombrero? Seems quiet. Oh yeah, what are those? Oh, there was a zipper on the uh, the other side, wasn't there? Okay. Thank you. I'm not very observant. Fish never have to worry about air. Uh, that is false, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year from identity theft. I mean, wait, we're talking about fish. That is completely false, Cappy. Yeah. Perspective is a little jacked. Boo Yakasha. <laughs> That's a little bit a bit fishy, mate. Wait. Look at that. Don't you need all of uh wait, okay, so all of the uh the purple coins those are some of those used to buy moons, or is that just strictly cosmetic stuff? When I say I want to, I want to do another hundred percent run of this, because I haven't done this in five years. Is that strictly cosmetics, or are those for some moons? I don't remember. Katata fish. Calm down there, Lemmy Winks. No, I can dive. No, I can dive. I'm just trying to cover as much as I can up here real quick. Oh, no, I can absolutely dive. Oxygen's a little bit of a problem. Zipper. Cosmetics and oh, okay. So there are moons that uh, that require uh, purple coins. Maybe not all of them. All right. Bitch, I jumped. Depots. Nothing out there. Some moons require certain outfits. I don't remember that at all, really. Fuck. That's not good. Uh, Seraph. Oh man, um, I, I definitely recommend a Switch. You know, when it when it first released, yeah, there were there really wasn't much going on for it. But I mean, that's pretty much any console. Uh, the Switch has a solid fucking library now. Between AAA titles, uh, between AAA titles, um, and indie titles as well. Oh yeah. So why is there a zipper right there? 
Oh. Shortcut? Yeah, a switch is definitely, definitely worth your time. I, I will never, ever, 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 ever recommend buying a console for one game specifically. Uh, the switch has more than enough going for it after this many years. Yeah, the switch is a great console. Hades, Infernax, Mar uh, yeah, Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, uh, Just Shapes and Beats, uh, pff, shit, uh, Infernax, uh, all of the, uh, all of the, uh, the Shovel Knight games, Metroid Dread, what other, what other really good games are on the Switch that are worth your time? There's a ton. All of the Marios, I mean, we got Marios. Mario Golf, Mario Party, yeah. Mario Kart. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, Mario Kart's great. The new tracks are pretty cool. Donkey Kong. Oh, uh, well, they ported Tropical Freeze, right? Yeah. Sub Unlimited, thanks for 10 months. How's it going, Smoke? Dark Souls. Triangle Strategy. I still haven't played Triangle Strategy. Don't worry, guys. Triangle Strategy is, uh, it, it's probably going to be sitting in a backlog for a second. It doesn't have Diagonal Mario. <laughs> Look at Mario's cheeks. <laughs> Alright, I need a fish. I was murdered so fish named Barb. Listen, I will not have you coming into my stream talking about Barb like that, okay? Yeah, use these damn controls. Ow. Barb is a lovely lady. God damn it, Barb! What's this? Oh, can you there? Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, take care of this. I'm I'm sure I'm gonna need to go back at some point. Nice cheeks. <laughs> Uh, it starts at about eight o'clock, Shoto. <laughs> Diddly -doo. Yeah, if you've uh, been hesitating on buying a Switch, uh, I yeah, after uh, this many uh, this many years, uh, the Switch is it, it is a solid console. Wow! Fuck those guys in every capacity. Section looks cheap. Rocket by Ray. Dude, get out of here, man. Get, boo. I mean, well played, but f boo. But I live here. Terrifying. I I never thought I'd say that about seaweed before in my life. That was terrifying. Oh, it's for a bunch of fucking coin. Mario <laughs> got them DSLs, you know. Uh, okay, so I'm looking for a couple more moons. Snacky moon. Get out of here! 
Who put this rock here? Only the fattest of rocks. Shit. God damn it. You've done oh Finn did rock a by rye. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, it hurts. It hurts so much. Mario is basically a body snatcher. He's basically a body snatcher. Yeah, Stephen King's body snatchers. It's yeah, it, it is horrifying. It's horrifying. Get out of here! He's <laughs> ah! <clears throat> Could have just dropped it in the top. Listen, think so. You want to come over here? You want to take this controller? Didn't think so. Vorberg. Hey, man. Have yourself a good night, dude. Eat John Carpenter's things. Yes! <laughs> Thanks for the 15 months, man. Yes. <laughs> Hi. What do you have to say? There's a lovely a lock lady dress in this display window. That monster came and stole it. He stole our kingdom's greatest treasure. A dress. Okay. Oh my god, stop talking to me. This is gonna take me up. PS5, good system. Oh, yeah, the PlayStation 5 is a, a wonderful console. I mean, it's, you know, got a ways to go. Um, Actually, didn't Sony just announce uh, a new... What was it Sony just announced uh, for the PlayStation? Even ga uh, where most games will, will be able to benefit from... Uh, I, I think it applies to uh, playing PS4 games. I, I think it was mostly about the backwards compatibility, but they... Uh, just released a, a thing about the PS5. Yeah, PS5 is trash because they are virtually non-existent. Yeah, no, I can, I can, I can agree with that. Like I said, as long as I can afford it and I can get my hands on uh, more PlayStation Fives, guys, I, I will do giveaways. I, uh, I think it's just a matter of finding these bastards. Please don't drown. 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 Sony just released something. I, I didn't get to read the article on it, but Welcome yeah, there, there's something going on. Your steadfast hey, crispy. Thanks for 12 months, man. Sun's going down, guys. We're getting close to spoopy time. I wasn't paying attention. Where was that fucking moon at? Was it up top? I see some coins over there I need to get. PS5 Pro? Uh, I didn't see anything about a PS5 Pro. I, I really hope that really hope that's not going to be the case. I was inside. Yeah, it was downstairs. Okay. Thought so. Wait. 
Whoa. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. We're we're re I'm refamiliarizing myself with the uh hey. Refamiliarizing myself with the uh the controls in this game. So it last night. Oh, that's something different than I was talking about. It was the uh God damn it. Uh It was the thing with the stuff. You know. Yeah, that. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I forgot about this level. Oh, I forgot about this world. No, um... Pretty sure it had to do with... Uh, it, it was a fleeting thing that I caught, probably via Twitter, and I, I, I think I, I... I know I clicked on it. I clicked on the article to read it. But it was about, uh... Something. Never mind. I'll shut up. Words are hard, yo. I, I can't remember what it was, but it was... Uh, Sony was tweeting about... I think it was Sony was tweeting about, uh, I think it was them tweeting about, uh, some of the updates. God damn it. Some updates with the, uh, the PS5. But I think it mostly applied to games. Unlike the PS4 Pro, I thought it had, uh, something to do with the PS5 games, or PS4 games, that didn't even support upgrades based on the PS4 Pro. Like, I have a PS4 Pro, right? Uh, we bought a Pro ye years and years back. There were very few games that, at the time, uh, took advantage of the PS4 Pro's capability. There were there were a handful of games that really utilized it and gave us, you know, a higher frame rate, so on and so forth. Update, adds VRR, I, that actually sounds about right. And I don't even know what that is. Okay, I think I missed the zipper, by the way. How about a Switch Pro Pro? Is there a zipper somewhere? There's a better method for getting up there. I think I missed the zipper somewhere. So I need to go back on the other side to get that moon. Uh, I'm not paying attention. I'm just blathering over here. Refresh it, go. Yeah, right, Rodman. Yeah, let the scalpers go after the PS PS5 pros and leave the the rest of. Maybe maybe that's uh, maybe that's Sony's new strat. <laughs> Introduce the PS5. PS5 Pro. That way, scalpers leave the uh, regular PS5s alone. I need eight. Uh, need the HDMI two two point one. Shit, man! I just learned about uh, HDMI protocol. I just now learned. I didn't know that was a fucking thing. through that area, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Well done. Well done. Or did I? I think I did. I fucking did. Yeah, I got everything down here, I think. Your PS5 is 1100 bucks. I'm happy you got a PS5, man. I, I, I hate that you had to pay that price. Like that's that sucks, man. Greed is a greed is a real son of a bitch, you know. Like I'm in the market for a uh, for a new GPU. Now I don't bl I don't know I I don't necessarily blame scalpers. I mean at the same time I do. I mean you know with crypto and all that fun jazz. But I know there was a uh, there there were uh, there was lack of uh, chips and whatnot. I, I even applied to vehicles and what and shit. But 
Yeah, there's no reason for a PlayStation 5 to be $1,100. There's no fucking reason. It, there's, no, there's no fucking reason. There's my moon. There she be. Scalpers are absolutely part of the GPU issue. Yeah. Well, I, I think crypto farmers are uh, are a big issue. Supply chain issue isn't getting any better. Yeah. Uh, it's gotten to the point where I'm talking to my buddy and I am genuinely considering switching to AMD for the first time ever in my life. In my life. I've run NVIDIA. NVIDIA. All these years. Depth perception fucking you up, Puka. <laughs> hey, man, good to see you. AMD for life. Well, see, I, I much like you know mechanic work. We were talking about vehicles and stuff earlier. I know enough about building computers and the technological side of things. I worked more on the networking side when I was in IT. I know enough. I can build a PC, whatever. I, if I can get help while I do it, great. Because <laughs> Lord knows I'm going to fuck it up. I mean, what is building a PC, right? It's like a 15-piece puzzle. No problem. But as far as optimization for something that I'm doing, streaming. Um, you know, OBS right here. I, I run a 90, uh, 9900 uh, on the CPU. Uh, that's fine. We're, we're liquid-cooled. We've got a great... This is a good PC. The 2060 that I have, though, it's not a 2060 Super. It's just a 2060. It is struggling lately. It is struggling a bit lately. Um, granted, when I run OBS, I'm running NVENC encoding. I, I'm letting the GPU handle the brunt work. But the 2060, even when I'm playing some indie games, now granted, a lot of this is going to be optimization issues, that 2060 just isn't cutting it. I, I'm having some problems with it. Yeah, single PC. Single PC. Grown up Legos these days? I love Legos. Getting a pre built with a 3060 was cheaper. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, well, see, listen, I mean, I've run a single, I, there was a, there was a very, very small time in my streaming career where I ran a dual PC setup. I ran a gaming laptop. I actually had a gaming laptop that I ran. It was actually because of VR, because I, I used to run an Oculus Rift. I ran a dual PC setup. Um specifically for uh, a PC to handle the workload of VR. Aside from that, you know, my GPUs throughout the years have been able to handle OBS and whatever fucking game I could throw at it. Uh, we were talking earlier, I used to run a... I ran a 980 Ti. I ran a 980 Ti for a long time. That card was so good. Uh, I love that card. It, it was a good one. But now, I mean, I'm running a 2060... What is that? We're running a 2060 high. You found me very clever. Oh, sweet. Um, I'm running a 2060 and it's struggling a little bit. And I've got a, uh, maybe not now. I've had it for a little while, but uh, I mean, maybe my, you know, my CPU, I trust, I trust the C, I trust my, my, my CPU. I trust my processor. 1050 Ti still kicking? Shit. I love that 980. They're still gold standard. They're just a crap ton of energy. Oh, yeah. Well, shit, I ran the 980 Ti, and, uh... I mean, shit, I think I'm still running the same power supply unit, too. The same PSU. I think it's a... 850? I don't remember if we upgraded that or not. <laughs> By the way, Genghis, thanks for the 52 months, man. 
You love lamb, me too. Crispy bird again, thanks for the uh, 12 months about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'll never learn rag and fire. You got your 3080 for 965. I know a lot of people are running the 3080s, and I hear good things about those cards. I'll tell you about to give you a clue shopping in Lake Lamode. Ow. Oh, it's hiding somewhere and no peeking. Oh, shopping? Um, all right, so I'm just kind of dicking around in these worlds, guys. I'm not doing any uh, speed running. I'm just uh, see the beautiful shop of this place. Okay, I'm gonna go buy that one. I guess. Give the uh, AMD cards a, a hard look. Uh, I was looking yesterday. I was looking yesterday, and I was having a little conversation with. Uh, I was having a conversation with my buddy, my, my my PC guy, my IT guy. He's also one of my best friends. We we rode motorcycles on Monday together. I, I, I just want to have something that will, uh, you know, do what I need it to do. I, I don't need to play, I, I don't care to play video games in 4K and all that fun jazz. And a big reason of that is because of streaming. Like, I cannot stream to you guys in 4K. 1080p is the max. Um, I, I, my main thing is I want to be able to play my games in 1080p at 60 frames per second. And yes, there's a difference between 30 and 60. If you can't see it, I'm so sorry. When you get into like, you know, above 60 FPS, I mean, there's a noticeable difference, but 60, I am fucking happy with. Yeah, my GPU is tanking a little bit, even when I'm trying to play uh, some indie titles. Jonathan King, what's up, man? Why does it say first time viewer? AMD cards are not the mess they used to be. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm sure they've they've advanced. I've never had an AMD card, ever. Ah, got you, Jonathan King. I was like, wait, I, I mean, I know you, motherfucker. What's up? Um, why don't we just go to the next world right now? We're not, we're not moon hunting at the moment. Where are you get this thing out of the way? No point in streaming above sixty. Yeah, you can't do above ten. Well, I don't know if uh, I, I, I think. Twitch can render over 60 FPS. Welcome. Definitely back. not over 1080p. Your though. steadfast loyalty is greatly yeah. appreciated. Time for bed. All right, Seraph, have yourself a good night. Ashton entry. Hey, Ashton. Roll for a sub. Ashton, if you can beat me on a D20 roll, I'll gift you a sub. But if I win, you have to subscribe. Deal or no deal? All right. Ooh, look at the look at the fucking cojones on this guy. All right. Here, I'll roll first. Right, unless you want to. No, I'm doing it. Ah, oh, shit! You gotta beat a nine. <laughs> you gotta beat a nine. That's community. And as the streamer, you win. I'll, I'll give that sub. I'll give that sub, Ashton. Don't even sweat it. Don't even sweat it, man. Well played. Well played. Well played. I got you. I got you. Well done. Fuck. That's a community, by the way. If you know, you know. There we go. Twitch doesn't let me give subs out of there. I have to load up my own damn stream to do this. Smoke bomb. Something went wrong. Oh. oh. No, I'm gifting a sub. No, I'm gifting a sub. Here, hang on. There we go. 
Well played, man. Our illustrious champion returns. Valendris, fuck you Welcome for uh, sub sniping me, you asshole. And thank you. Smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. Jesus. Smoke bomb. Oh God. God damn it, Thor. Um, I think we're ready to go back to the ship. A generous bestowal. God. Silver, thank you for the 300 bits. Think so. Thanks for the gifted sub to uh, Ordinary Samurai. D. Otter, thank you again for the 17 months, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Leonidas, thank you again for the follow. Valendris, go fuck yourself. And thank you at the same time. I can smell you. <laughs> Azareth. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Thanks for getting up, Steam Beetle. If you say so, hey. The sun isn't quite down. We have enough, uh, Metro Kingdom. Is this? This is Metro Kingdom. Is that New Donk? I've been waiting to see New Donk City. It's been five fucking years. The only time I see New Donk City is in Mario Golf when we play aggressive golf together. Should have an alert for a snipe sub. <laughs> Time is it? Man, it's almost eight o'clock. Sun's getting real low, big guy. What a lovely little town they had underwater. I hadn't been swimming in some time. It felt lovely. Hey, Cameron, thanks for the hundred bits, man. Oh, bomb. Oh, my God, swarm. Thank you for the gifted sub to P. Machowd. Machowd. Is this new Badonka Donk City? Uh, seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Oh, he kept the subterrain alive. <laughs> nice. Uh, cap throw and hold. I'm gonna break a hole, stack of boxes, you know. Yeah, I'm pressing old white. Yeah, no, I'm good. Shut up. Shut up. I want to see New Donk City. There's a particular moment in this area. We got, I gotta switch over to this horror game, man. Swampy! Thank you for 28 months, dude. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is great. Are we gonna get the concert before us, baby? If I don't fuck around, I think we can do it. Two shots of vodka. Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Peaks. Mr. Me Peaks. Look at me, I'm Mr. Me Peaks! Oh, you're the five gifted subs, man. This is a new Dong City. Thanks, man. Evil turtle. Keep that uh keep that electric on. Oh, I forgot there's a little uh segue here, right? Okay. I don't remember I don't remember half of this shit. I don't think we're gonna hit it today. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. BP. Appreciate that, man. Don't let me forget next beer. I have a new glass. Oh, yeah. I don't it. have time Get for you. Shoot him over. I'm busy planning my wedding. Don't you know how stressful that is? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. For thank you for the thousand bits. Jesus Christ, guys. Silver, thank you for the 200 bits, man. Definitely don't stand that close.
わたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた I got gang banged. Dude. <sighs> okay. Any mods in chat you want to pay the people? I did not first try uh, Bowser. He fucked me up. He fucked me up. But I'm tired for you. All right, you don't even skip that. Wow, that sucked. Oh shit, Granny still do this. That's right, next beer, new glass. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, you can- Oh my god, you can clip those. With the hat. No way. Can we talk about how fancy Bowser's hair is right there? Like he's, he's got some swagger. He's got some swagger in this game. You're a fucking asshole. You're a fucking asshole. Oh, okay, you got moves. Oh, yeah, no, I don't remember this at all. There we go. I fucked up, I'm sorry. I apologize. That was an expensive loss. Two shots of vodka. I stay twice in the gym. Uh, I've lived in, lived in four or five states. Look how pretty this game is, too. Man, we <laughs> we moved on from uh, 3D All Stars, which were upscaled and they were gorgeous, back. and uh, we're back to playing uh, Mario Odyssey. Five years it's been Cheers since I played this sir. game. Yo, Fletch, thanks for 29 months. I think. Thanks, Blight. I think this is where I'm calling it quits on Mario for the day. I've been playing Mario for almost eight hours today. Might be a good time to switch to a different game. Uh, where are we now? Oh no, the Odyssey is all busted up. We'll need some power moons to fix it. Let's get looking. Until next time, be well, be safe. Stay sexy.